Classification of Obesity, Wikipedia Article Audio Obesity is a medical condition in which excess body fat has accumulated to the extent that it has an adverse effect on health. Relative weight and body mass index are nearly identical and are reasonable estimates of body fatness as measured by percentage body fat. However, BMI does not account for the wide variation in body fat distribution, and may not correspond to the same degree of fatness or associated health risk in different individuals and populations. Other measurements of fat distribution include the waist-hip ratio and body fat percentage. Normal weight obesity is a condition of having normal body weight, but high body fat percentages with the same health risks of obesity. Body mass index or BMI is a simple and widely used method for estimating body fat mass. BMI was developed in the 19th century by the Belgian statistician and anthropometrist Adolphe Quetelet. BMI is an accurate reflection of body fat percentage in the majority of the adult population. It however is less accurate in people such as bodybuilders and pregnant women. A formula combining BMI, age, and gender can be used to estimate a person's body fat percentage to an accuracy of 4%. An alternative method, body volume index, is being developed in an effort to better take into account different body shapes. BMI Waist Circumference and Waist Hip Ratio BMI is calculated by dividing the subject's mass by the square of his or her height, typically expressed either in metric or U.S. customary units. The most commonly used definitions, established by the World Health Organization in 1997 and published in 2000, provide the values listed in the table at right. Some modifications to the WHO definitions have been made by particular bodies. The surgical literature breaks down class 3 obesity into further categories, though the exact values are still disputed. As Asian populations develop negative health consequences at a lower BMI than Caucasians, some nations have redefined obesity. The Japanese have defined obesity as any BMI greater than 25 while China uses a BMI of greater than 28. The BMI-based definition is easy to use and it is particularly convenient for statistical purposes, since it only depends on two commonly measured quantities, one's height and weight. However, it ignores variations between individuals in amounts of lean body mass particularly muscle mass. Individuals involved in heavy physical labor or sports may have high BMI values despite having little fat. For example, more than half of all NFL players are classified as obese, and one in four are classified as extremely obese, according to the BMI metric. However, their mean body fat percentage, 14%, is well within what's considered a healthy range. Body Fat Percentage The preferred obesity metric in scholarly circles is the body fat percentage, the ratio of the total weight of person's fat to his or her body weight, and BMI is viewed merely as a way to approximate BF percent. Levels in excess of 32% for women and 25% for men are generally considered to indicate obesity. However, accurate measurement of body fat percentage is much more difficult than measurement of BMI. Several methods of varying accuracy and complexity exist. Other proposed but less common obesity measures include waist circumference and waist hip ratio. These measure a common form of obesity known as abdominal or central obesity, characterized by excess deposits of fat in the abdominal region and inside peritoneal cavity. They have been shown to be comparable to BMI in their power to predict the risk of metabolic abnormalities such as type 2 diabetes, 
and possibly superior to BMI as predictors of cardiovascular disease. Childhood Obesity In the United States a waist circumference of greater than 102 cm in men and greater than 88 cm in women or the waist-hip ratio are used to define central obesity. In the European Union waist circumference of greater than or equal to 94 cm in men and greater than or equal to 80 cm in non-pregnant women are used as cut-offs for central obesity. A lower cut-off of 90 cm has been recommended for South Asian and Chinese men, while a cut-off of 85 cm has been recommended for Japanese men. In those with a BMI under 35, intra-abdominal body fat is related to negative health outcomes independent of total body fat. Intra-abdominal or visceral fat has a particularly strong correlation with cardiovascular disease. In a study of 15,000 people, waist circumference also correlated better with metabolic syndrome than BMI. Women with abdominal obesity have a cardiovascular risk similar to that of men. In people with a BMI over 35, measurement of waist circumference however adds little to the predictive power of BMI as most individuals with this BMI have abnormal waist circumferences. Body fat percentage is total body fat expressed as a percentage of total body weight. There is no generally accepted definition of obesity based on total body fat. Most researchers have used 25% in men, and 30% in women, as cut points to define obesity. Body fat percentage can be estimated from a person's BMI by the following formula. This formula takes into account the fact that body fat percentage tends to be 10 percentage points greater in women than Indiana men for a given BMI. It recognizes that a person's percentage body fat tends to increase as they age, even if their weight and BMI remain constant. The results of this formula have been shown to have an accuracy of 4% in one group of individuals. There are many other methods used to determine body fat percentage. Hydrostatic weighing, one of the most accurate methods of body fat calculation, involves weighing a person under water. Two other simpler and less accurate methods have been used historically but are now not recommended. The first is the skin fold test in which a pinch of skin is precisely measured to determine the thickness of the subcutaneous fat layer. The other is bioelectrical impedance analysis which uses electrical resistance. Bioelectrical impedance has not been shown to provide an advantage over BMI. Body fat percentage measurement techniques used mainly for research include computed tomography, magnetic resonance imaging, and dual energy x ray absorptiometry. These techniques provide very accurate measurements, but it can be difficult to obtain in the severely obese due to weight limits of most equipment and insufficient diameter of many CT or MRI scanners. The healthy BMI range varies with the age and sex of the child. Obesity in children and adolescents is defined as a BMI greater than the 95th percentile. The reference data that these percentiles are based on is from 1963 to 1994 and thus has not been affected by the recent increases in rates of obesity. Childhood obesity has reached epidemic proportions in 21st century with rising rates in both the developed and developing world. Rates of obesity in Canadian boys have increased from 11% in 1980s to over 30% in 1990s, while during this same time period rates increased from 4 to 14% in Brazilian children. As with obesity in adults many different factors contribute to the rising rates of childhood obesity. Changing diet and decreasing physical activity are believed to be the two most important in causing the recent increase in the rate of obesity.
activities from self-propelled transport, to school physical education, and organized sports has been declining in many countries. Because childhood obesity often persists into adulthood, and is associated with numerous chronic illnesses, it is important that children who are obese be tested for hypertension, diabetes, hyperlipidemia, and fatty liver. Treatments used in children are primarily lifestyle interventions and behavioral techniques. Medications are not FDA approved for use in this age group. Any BMI greater than or equal to 35 or 40 is severe obesity, a BMI of greater than or equal to 35 or 40 44.9 or 49.9 is morbid obesity, a BMI of greater than or equal to 45 or 50 is super obese.